In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just and always to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over one over your tunic, hand him your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you and do not turn your back and one who wants to borrow. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly father, for he makes his son rise in the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise, Praise to the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Please go ahead with the three pointers, Tita the three pointers for today's gospel. Number one, today Jesus is trying to teach us not to count the cost, nor to expect to receive anything in return, but to give generously till it hurts. Walk that extra mile for the good of others. Number two, is there a current situation or person that requires you to either turn the other cheek or to give something away. Ask God for the grace and wisdom to do what is necessary in his eyes. Number three, think of these people as your brothers and sisters. Just as Jesus died for you, he died for them also. God loves you and he loves them also. Amen. 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 So it's it's showing God's uh, unconditional love, no? Okay, we heard the gospel, right? We, we heard the gospel. So who is my enemy? Yun. Who is my enemy? Though Jesus does not define this for us, we should consider it to be anyone with whom there is some form of tension or discord. Perhaps there is someone who hates or dislikes you and speaks ill of you or treats you poorly. Or perhaps there is someone whom you dislike and find yourself angry, angry at or even judgmental towards. So begin by trying to identify anyone with whom you have a lack of perfect affection. In truth, there might be many more people on that list than on the list of those you love. That means marami pang list, mas maba pang listahan natin sa so people who don't like us or who, or who we don't like than who we love. Once you identify those who fall into the category of uh, enemy to one extent or another, consider whether you love them. One church father says that we love our enemy when we are not sorrowful at his success or rejoice in his fall. 
this is a very helpful definition to consider. Ultimately, this is the definition of envy. If someone whom you dislike succeeds in something praiseworthy, how do you how do you react interiorly? If there is an immediate visceral reaction, or if you find yourself trying to figure out why they should be congratulated, then you might struggle with this sin. Or consider what you think, say, or feel if you hear that someone you dislike has some problem, gets into some trouble, or encounters some misfortune. The ideal response is empathy and a desire for their well being. If it is not the response within you, then pay attention to that. Jesus concludes this teaching by saying that his father makes his son rise on the bad and on good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. In other words, in other words, God bestows his perfect love and mercy upon everyone equally. The only difference is that some people choose to accept that mercy and others reject it. As, as, as for ourselves, just like our loving father, we must offer love and mercy to everyone equally and as completely as we can. And though some may reject that love, just as they reject the love of God, it must always be offered and never resigned it. This is love of neighbor and also love of our enemies. Reflect today upon those with whom you struggle to love to perfection. Perhaps that list is long. Start with those in start with those you encounter most often or those to whom you have a strong negative reaction. Wow, very challenging. As you call them to mind, pray to pray for them for their good and for God's blessings upon them. Try to see goodness or some goodness in them. Try to thank God for them and try to remove any dis disordered feelings or thoughts you might have about, about them. This is the first step in your mission to fulfill Jesus's new command of love. Amen. 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 Can we do that? Identi first, identify your enemy. Enemy. Mm -hmm. Those people you don't like or those people you who um, you don't like or who have um, hurt your feelings. Continue loving. Yeah, with God's help. <laughs> with God's help. Only with God's with help. With God's true. help. No, <laughs> because, be yes, it's true, Tita Bell. With God's help, because for God, nothing. With God, nothing is impossible. Talaga. Because if, if, if it's our own efforts only, very hard. I Very, very hard. It's true. All of us know, I mean, all of us have uh, no uh, perfect relationship with uh, somebody or someone, no? either either close family or even friends, neighbors or office mates, mga ganyan ba. Uh, it's so hard to adjust sometimes, no? to adjust na seeing these people no? uh, or being with these people that you either either who don't like you or you don't like them. So it's very challenging, but with prayers, no constant prayers, no, and uh, pray for your, pray for those people who hate you or pray for those people who persecute you. It's very ch challenging, uh, but pray and then God will help you. Holy Spirit will guide you. And remember that God is, God's love is unconditional. God loves me. God God also loved that people or that, those people or that person you don't love or you that, that persecute you. Unconditional ang love ng God. Very, very unconditional. Whoever you are. Hmm. Whoever you are. Even itong, itong taong ito is, uh, he hurt me so much, maganyan ba? He changed the destiny of my life, maganyan ba? But still, he is, uh, he is also, ano, he is also loved by God. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do, go, go beyond, go beyond. Love your enemy. Love those people who persecute you. Pray for them. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. So we are talking. We are talking about about uh, with God, nothing is impossible. No, just pray, and God always is uh, always with us and listens to us, and He knows our needs. And uh, the best example is Tita Bell's. <laughs> Yeah, Tita, Tita Bell's um, miracle, God's healing power within her. So, paunahin mo na natin ang iba before mine, kasi part two naman yung sa akin, di ba? Oh, Tito Man has something to say, siguro. Oh. Uh, Konting comment lang. Yes, Tito Man. Yes, Tito Man. As a person, we cannot avoid somebody to hate us. It's mm. just a human nature. Di natin maiwasan na meron tayong kagalit o meron tayong galit sa iba. As you have said, hindi rin natin maiwasan na meron magalit sa atin. Yun, yun, eh. yun, that's human nature. But what is God's command? Mm -hmm. Love your enemies. You? You learn sinabi niya, love your enemies. Because you cannot uh, avoid somebody hating you and also you hating somebody. But the command is simple. Love your enemies. And it's very hard to do. But if you want to be my disciple, you can do it. You have to deny yourself. You want to be my disciple. And he makes the rain fall on everyone or the sunrise on anyone. Because he's a merciful God, a loving God, loves everyone. He wants everyone to be saved. He grants us those uh, favors sometimes when we need it, when we pray hard. But those favors are... Uh, Sometimes uh, we forget to give thanks. And we have to be very careful because sometimes we feel ourselves so blessed to the point that we become vain. We become vain. It has avoided. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. <laughs> One of the greatest challenges. Nothing. But it doesn't mean that you have you have to please everybody, no. Because we 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 have also to think about ourselves, but that they won't lose their respect to you so but let's keep on praying for for them that's the, that's the most christian way that's the most christian way be like jesus humble and make of heart the love is unconditional Amen. Amen. So, who else has something to say about today's gospel before we proceed to the second part of uh, testimony of Tita Bell? Anybody? If not, um, please go ahead, Tita Bell. Maybe a little, uh, a little something about the first uh, 
about about yesterday's ano yeah i will i will give you a little background ha huh. i praise and thank the lord for his guiding hands <clears throat> yesterday when i had a difficult case uh i i really was very stressed about that case because she's a uh, bleeding endometrial cancer who has ckd and on dialysis so when i was able to diagnose her case i referred to a gynae oncologist for affirmation of what i'm planning to do what surgery is to be done what is the proper surgery so when the gynae onco i referred to said that we will schedule her as a, a case we will do cancer surgery we will have the dialysis first after which the surgery so when i when i scheduled her the dialysis was scheduled early in the morning 7:30 in time for the 2 pm schedule in the afternoon that was yesterday so everything has been uh, prepared the patient was transfused with five units of blood because the hemoglobin was only six oh. so we we gave the transfusion and the latest after the five units was nine grams so she was cleared for surgery uh, on board was was her nephrologist a cardiologist and then the anesthesia so when i arrived in the or Uh, there was a little bit, uh, parang murag, you can feel the unrest. So I didn't know then that the patient had atrial fibrillation. So when I arrived, the anesthesiologist already uh, inducted the patient with epidural anal anesthesia because that's for pain control. Then GA for the actual surgery but then uh, not knowing that there was atrial fib the anesthesiologist asked me with worried she was really ha- even if with her mask on you can see that she was a bit agitated and worried so she I'm asked worried. me which is very unusual for for which is an unusual question at that moment because she said doctora are you really going to operate on her then i said yes of course because this is a bleeding a bleeding endometrial cancer we have to remove the uterus that is the source of the bleeding and we cannot defer because this is cancer then she said because because uh Uh, she she was re- really looking for the uh, the cardiologist then yesterday was saturday and i know that the cardiologist that <coughs> cardiologist <coughs> goes on a weekend because i think that's routine for him because he has a like a rest house somewhere in the south so i knew that The, anest- uh, the cardiologist was not around. So I was expecting that the cardio fellow will be there. So I said, so where's the cardio fellow? Why is he not here? Uh, nobody answered my question. So I, I, I was a bit now insecure also of, because I was thinking when I prayed hard this morning for a for the Lord to guide me, to be with me, to make me an instrument of his healing powers that I may, whatever I may touch, I may heal because of his hands. Then I, I, I also ask myself, 
is this a sign from the Lord that I will deliver the surgery? Because the guy ni on for whom I called on to to rescue me if ever something happens that's not beyond my my capacity to do. I learned that he he went to Dumaguete because of another cancer surgery. Then the other one is in Batanes. So I I also got insecure. So maybe this is a sign from the Lord that I will defer the surgery. So I was really also very, very insecure. I got insecure. And then uh, my routine is when I... I I usually wait. I'm waiting for the anesthesia to be inducted, the patient to be inducted. I scold our our Saint Hannibal, our our YouTube recording. So when when I scold our messenger, I saw Father Dan. He's there. So for the first time in my life, I I asked the help of Father Dan. Or oh yeah. Like I'm, I'm having a co-management with, with uh, spiritual, spiritual, uh, uh, so spiritual I said, side. I prayed uh, on the spiritual side. I message Father Dan. Uh, Father Dan, please pray for me, because I'm going to operate on a very high risk patient, and I'm anticipating a difficult surgery and you know the lord was with me really because i really didn't expect father dan to answer me because you know i know that we all know that father dan is a very busy, very busy. Person, a very busy person and his mm -hmm. his his uh time with us is also uh counted no then father dan answered me Yes, po, Tita. Rest assured po of my prayers. Mama Mary will cover you with her maternal mantle. So I, I, I thank Father Dan. And he said, Welcome, po, Tita. God will make you his instrument. And I answered, That's what I prayed for this AM, Father Dan. Just felt insecure. I felt like Peter amidst the waves, having a wavering faith. Then he said, that really calmed me, his word. Just look at the Lord, Peter. So I said, yes, Father Dan. And he said, and Father Dan answered. And he said, do not be afraid and entrust to him everything. He will do the rest. Amen. I said, amen. <laughs> Father Dan wow. did not answer anymore. Maybe he got <laughs> easy. So uh, wow. to make wow. the story short, Wow. I was I really waited for the anesthesiologist to give the uh, the general anesthesia but it took a, it took took her a while to do it also maybe he was re she was really worried she was really worried and uh, and and I scrolled the YouTube then I read a very nice inspiring prayer uh the one i told you that the and lord the will even provide for the birds in the sky the lilies in the valley they don't have they don't have food to eat but the lord provides, provides. Them. and the lilies too and and all those inspiring words but the psalm 21 that though I walk in the valley, valley feel yeah, no huh? evil for, for you are with me. Huh? You are with me. Then I I I it calmed me also because I know that the Lord let me search that on Google because he wanted to tell me, don't be afraid. I am with you. I will wow. be the surgeon to your hands. Remember, there's a picture. Can you remember that there's a picture that in the operating room, the surgeon was there with the assistants, with the team, 
then that Jesus is at the back of the surgeon holding the surgeon's hands. Do you have, do you know that picture? Oh, do, have you seen that picture? No. Uh, I always no. remember that, although we don't have the, I remembered maternity has that maternity operating room. We have that in Soto. Uh, I don't know if we have that in Perpetual, but I, I don't, don't remember have, seeing that. Say we really. don't have that in in Chongwa because of JCI, they're very strict about ster sterility. In the oh. So I I remember that picture too. So when I when I open after the anesthesiologist has inducted, when we open the bubbles were matted all over. So I started lysing. I started lysing just to make a window in order to access the pelvic cavity. But I already uh, asked that my surgeon partner be called so that he can do the additional lysis. So true enough, uh, the, I was able to make a window and identify the uterus, the, the anatomy, and just told my assistants, girls, we cannot do the cancer surgery anymore. I cannot even do the nodes now because I want to finish the surgery fast so that we will not endanger the patient's life by having a, a long surgery no, like no. cancer surgery. As no. long as we will remove the uterus, to remove the bleed, the source of the bleeding because she's really bleeding. Imagine if I will just not do the surgery, uh -huh. like def deferring the surgery for Monday, then she will uh -huh. keep on bleeding. Then we will transfuse again. Again, uh -huh. it's like a, the a, more she becomes a, morbid. Yeah, uh -huh. it's like a waste of resources. Uh -huh. We will waste the blood that we transfuse because she will keep on bleeding. And, and to wait for two days more, I also thought of that, that it will be a waste of resources and will endanger the life of the patient more. Although I want to give in to the anesthesiologist and I want to wait for my friend in uh, Gaini Onko can come home na after Domagetti. Then and that vacationing other one. So I I was really at, at the crossroads too. So I said we we really cannot defer. No? So when we finished the hysterectomy, the surgeon came in also to do the the I sat down, I sat down, I went out of the field, I sat down and prayed some more. And then uh my second assist woke me up because I just closed my eyes. She thought that I was sleeping. Doctora, yung patient natin nag hypotension. Uh, but I but we're not bleeding. And the surgeon said, I'm not bleeding either. So I said, Oh, it's maybe because of the shift of the fluids, because of the ascites, as as there's a lot of ascites and mm -hmm. there are a lot of pockets there. Uh, but I, uh, I, I, I learned that the anesthesiologist world was already giving the pressures. Uh -huh. So the surgeon finished uh, maybe by 30 minutes. So when he said, Doctora, I'm already done. Oh, okay, we're going to wash and close. So when I asked the anesthesia before we close, I, I ask, oh, how are the vitals? Uh, okay, na doctora, we were able to raise the blood pressure. So when I look at the monitors, true enough, the vital signs were stable already. So we closed and we finished. And when I talked to the husband to give him the outcome, the intra-op, and the status of the patient, you know, he revealed, he disclosed that before, uh, the night before, the wife day, I prepared him for the worst. The wife said, I may not be able to survive. 
Parang parang nag-ano siya oh. dahil advance oh. directive ba oh. sa oh. husband? So oh. parang na I wanted to reassure the husband. I said, you know, you know, son, it's really it was really a challenging case and we really had hypotension, we transfuse blood, we give pressors. For all we know, the anesthesiologist will decide to admit her in the ICU for close monitoring so that we'll be assured na matutukan yun siya kaysa anhaaras siya sa ordinary yung room. No? So, it's okay, Doktor. It's okay as long as my my wife is safe. Sige, son. We'll pray more for you, son. If critical, be at first 24 hours. Yeah. Others, oh, yeah, we'll talk so. home and huh. we can lose the patient even how successful your surgery huh. is huh. in the first 24 or 48 huh. hours. Either they will, die, they will die of uh, MI most of the time. Yeah, yeah. Heart attack, heart attack. So, or, or, or pulmonary embolism. Oh, oh, map- or embolism stroke. Oh. Yeah, many, oh. many things can happen. So I, I, I message my anesthesiologist. Are we going to put her in the ICU? Uh, then she said, no, Dr. she's stable. I think we'll just We'll make do after the Paco will observe. After the Paco, if she's okay, she can go back to her room. Then I I was so happy also. Then I just waited and waited, but no word came that she will be placed in the IC. Then my 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 resident was texting me. The patient was already in the room, the vital oh. signs were stable, stable. The oh. patient was awake, the Goodness. patient is uncomfortable mm-hmm. with the NGT but she has to have to, to oh. have to have that she has to have that NGT for maybe two or three days sabi ng, oh. ng surgeon so that's why when I make my rounds kanina. amazing talaga kanina amazing she was standing up looking at the nag TV man sila looking at the um, I don't know I didn't even look at the TV monitor what they were looking at I was just I know na focusing on her na as if nothing happened as, she, as if she's not post off except wow. for the MGT naka MGT Imagine. naka IV 24 hours lang no 24 hours uh, after the the crisis no yeah, more, I felt hours bit more now. than 24 oh. hours because oh. we started three, we, been, we finished a little over four. Oh. 24 uh, hours. Then, yeah, yeah. We did uh, a little bit. bit uh, 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 parang walang tal- parang it's as if wala talaga siyang hindi siya naupirahan. Sabi ko, Lord, you're such a great Lord. How can I ever thank you, Lord? Praise God, praise God. All the more I said, but I will really give my testimony part two to, to tell you how great is the Lord. How grabe talaga yung ocean of mercy ba ng Panginoon. Very, very. Wow. I cannot praise and thank the Lord enough. Uh, and they're done it too. And all of us who, uh, who, who I know, praise God for His mercy and His love and His compassion. Uh, amen. Wow. Amen. Grabe talaga ang Lord. No? If, if you call on trust. Him. And trust you Him. Trust one, no. And you his, have faith his, on Him. His love. and uh, he, he will really answer you. and He will really let you feel his presence, ba? His presence, his love, and his. All the more that I I feel so little. Oh, I I realized my sinfulness, my brokenness, my unworthiness. Sa kaniyang love, ba? Talaga. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank, thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise it. Thank you, Lord. You're so humble, Isabel. Ang, ang mercy ba sa Lord ba? 
Ang mercy sa Lord. Grabe. Grabe. That's you know, my testimony. <laughs> Becky! <laughs> Tita Bell, Tita Bell, uh, uh, mag-ano ako ng uh, addendum or comments, no? Uh, yung anesthesiologist, um, he was like uh, a temptation. No, I can, I can feel what you feel, MJ. You know, it was really a very difficult case, you know? Uh, yung patient cannot really lie flat on bed baya because the tummy is very big because of the ascites, because of the chronic dialysis. It was really a, a, really a difficult case. That's why she said I have to do GA doctora because she cannot lie flat because of her CKD. Very difficult. Now I can feel what she felt. I can I can understand the basis for questioning me whether I really have to operate on the patient. It was really a very difficult case for her, anesthesia. Uh -huh. it was you know, because really you have this strong faith, no, you still went ahead with the with the procedure uh -huh. because of your strong faith. Now you decided we will go ahead. That's the medical side. We will go ahead because of this, because she she, because she was already of what I read. the pre op uh -oh, everything. But because of what I read exactly that, uh -oh. that emboldened me to proceed with the surgery because of what I read in the YouTube, because of what Father Dan said. Father Dan's words. Just uh -oh. look at the very, Lord. very inspiring. Just uh -oh. look at the Lord. Uh -oh. Yun, yun ang naka-embolden ko. <laughs> yun ang naka-give <laughs> me courage to, pre to proceed. Kasi I went back to the anesthesiologist man and asked her, uh, do you want me to, do you want me to defer? Do you want me to reschedule on Friday, uh, on Monday? Then she said, it's okay though, we will go ahead. So the Lord also touched her, di ba? Yeah. Uh -oh. The Lord also touched her. Uh -oh. And 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 also, uh, we we discussed that uh, earlier before, no? Na it is it, the, the, no matter how difficult the case is, when the patient has her own strong faith, plus yeah. the doctor's uh, strong faith. Everything will be okay. Everything will run smoothly. And this is a good example. This is a good yes. example. Uh -oh. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Amen. See, imagine, no, after that difficult procedure, no, na really life-threatening procedure. Uh, and yet, no, um, barely 24 hours long, no, you were you were even surprised when you saw her during your rounds, when you saw her like up and about. As if um, parang, there was nothing parang, happened. Parang walang nangyari sa kanya ba? See? Sabi mm -hmm. ko, oh, well, I, I commented, ay, still, para ka naman lang hindi inyopirahan. And she smiled, really. And she smiled, a very sweet smile. Oh my ay, God. Oh Lord, wow. you're so great. Nakaka-touch talaga. <laughs> So, so our 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 lesson our, our lesson here is like just have faith, entrust everything to the Lord. He will surrender everything. Surrender yeah. everything to Him, yeah. and that and your feeling, Tita Bell, no, na, na you are Fulfilled. you are yeah, oh, you are so Fulfilled. humble, no? you are so humble na na, na, na fulfilled no. ako titalian pero yeah drained and exhausted oh <laughs> lang. Exhausted. okay lang okay lang yeah. oh, naluya yeah. naluya oh. bahala na lang naluya temporary na na oh. temporary na kaluya oh. I, i know oh. Kain ka lang ng fibric dish mo makuha na yan. Kain lang pa ko ng ato. Think about Nate. Yeah, I'm thinking of your apo. 
Think about my apo. Oh, oh, oh. Very inspiring, Tita Bella. See, see, no, if, we, if we have just, uh, if we have just enough faith, no, we can really tell this uh, mountain uh, move and <laughs> move and touch to the sea. <laughs> I, I remember that. Uh, I remember that. Oh. So you mentioned also about the the Lord is my shepherd. No, the one that you said. Yeah, there is nothing those, I no? shall want. It's one of the verses here. For a, it's one of the verses that comes me. Pero meron naman siya ano? Oh, so do not fear, for I am with you. Those are what we call experiences. Uh -uh. Yeah. Do not That's be anxious, of the, do not be anxious about anything, in but in every situation by prayer. prayer. And a Christologist shall have increased their faith with that faith experience. Grab it <laughs> uh -uh. I, I tried sending this to our thread, ba, pero... Hindi ko talaga ma-send. I don't know why. I-ano mo lang kung anong sum. Tapos i-ano, i-hanap. The title, you know, in YouTube, the title is Peace of Mind. Bible verses for a calm heart. Would you believe that that popped out when I scrolled YouTube? Yeah, imagine, no? Pati ang pag-scroll mo. Pati ang pag-scroll mo sa YouTube. Bible verses for a calm heart. Oo. Oo. You 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 try to ano? I I really I I tried yesterday. I tried last night to send this to you. Hindi ko talaga masend. Sige e ano e hanapin ko peace of mind no to come. Peace of mind. Bible verses for a calm heart. For a calm heart. Ang 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 guy Wallstone ang siguro ito ang pangalan niya Wallstone. Basta na, nandyan sa YouTube, Bible, yeah, ano, huh. picture, Bible. Maski na pag ano mo na YouTube, uh, guided. Bible verses for a calm heart. Yes. Why, oh, why, was, I, why was I able to, uh -oh. to surf this? You, you were not even sure kung ano, saan ang, kung ano ang hanapin na si mo Dan. sa YouTube. Huh. Oh, nawala naman si Father Dan after his, his statement na Look at the Lord. Nawala naman siya. Sig siguro meron na siyang, baka nag-mixa na siya. Oh. Kasi nasa Davao siya eh. Oh. Mm. Nasa Davao siya. Oh. So ang, 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 ang example mo no, na it, it went, uh, it, it came into your mind no, na you, you were like, you, you were like uh, in a stormy waves. Tapos, yeah. uh, yun talaga. I remember the scene in the Chosen MJ. Oh, oh. Na I very very it. ano ang ang oh. ang waves. Oh, oh. Oh. Tapos doon nag medyo waver ang nag waver ang faith ni. Ang faith ko. Oh. 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 Ang faith ang, ko at ni Peter oh. when he sang oh. na when he sang. Oh, oh. And then Father Danny, Father Danny told you focus on the Lord. The Lord is oh. Just look at yeah. Just look, look at, at the, the Lord. Lord. Just oh. look at the Lord Peter. Oh. That was his last word. Last statement. Oh. Just look at Beautiful. the Lord, Peter. Beautiful. No? So, a big lesson in our life. How stormy the situation is. God is yeah. always there. And God is only a prayer away. A prayer away. Rabbi Jun. Oh. So, mga, mga examples yan in life, no? Daily life yan ni Tita Bell, no? Because of her work. Tapos tayo din, may kanya-kanya din tayong, ano? Um, yeah. Daily, in, uh, in, in any situation uh, that in, we are in. Any situation, ho? Any situation, ho? So, wow. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tita Bell. Beautiful. Thank you, Lord. Kasama <laughs> yan sa Thanksgiving sa Mass. Yeah, mm -hmm. include think, that Thanksgiving uh -oh. so Tuesday. Uh -oh. Yeah, may uh -oh. basis ter bell. Yeah. Oh, you know, Tuesday Monday ay ato hang mass, no? Mm -hmm. Birthday, Thanksgiving, anniversary. Oh, yeah. Tuesday. Uh -oh. 
Tuesday yun. Tuesday night sa inyo. Tuesday morning sa amin. 21. Uh-oh. 21. 6.30 Uh-oh. tayo, Tita MJ, no? Ha? 6.30? 6.30? 7.30? Pariho tayo, Tante. Oh, pariho, Tante. 6.30? Eastern, 6.30, 6.30 a.m. Hindi kami maka-join. Yes, nasa oh. Cagayan de Oro kami. First, ah. ano, welcome party sa first day sa, ano, mission. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Oh, so, so, ilan kayo? Apat. Kasi wala Apat si kayo na warriors? Um... Uh, apat kayo sa Warriors na hindi maka-attend na mas, no? Si Claire? Uh, no. Si, si Pita Bilen, si lang Jimmy. Ako si Bilen. Si ah, Bilen, ay, si Jimmy. Ay, 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 na-cancel ako sa, sa CDOMJ because I was rescheduled sa Shenzhen Embassy sa Embassy for my Shenzhen visa. Na-rescheduled ako so I cannot say no. So kinakancel ko na lang yung Ang CDO. CDO ko. Uh, na conflict man sa Shenzhen visa uh, interview. Oo. Oh. Oh, kung sa bagay 30 minutes lang sana yan. Oh. So Bel, magkano ang Shenzhen ngayon? So I can attend the, the mass. Ha? Uh, 23 Tita Lin. So I have to leave 22. 22 Dalai? night because 23, 7.30 in the morning yung interview ko. Ah, Pero maka-attend ka pa ng mass. Oh, maka-attend ako sa mass. Oh, oh, maganda. Mag-attend ka muna, oh. Sister Bell. Mas oh, oh, maganda. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I can attend. 22 pa man ako mag-leave. 22, oh, mm-hmm. 23. I'll be back 23 afternoon. Oh, Where is your interview, Sister Bell? Forgive me, I did not listen. <laughs> yeah. Please go ahead, Tita Ben. In the name, in the name, name of the of Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear Lord, how can we ever thank you for being with us tonight? We know you are you you are with us because you said we're two or three are gathered in your name and you are with us. So we thank you and praise you and magnify your holy name for blessing us with your presence and for guiding us, enlightening us. Holy Spirit, thank you for being with me when I shared my miracle vision to the community, to our prayer warriors. I'm so blessed. We are so blessed with you with your presence, Lord God, with Father Danny with us. Thank you so much, dearest Lord, for bringing Father Danny to us. We cannot thank you enough, Lord God. Our hearts are full. And may our, and may we lead our lives, our daily life, in thanksgiving for all your goodness and your love your mercy and compassion. May we realize, dear Lord, that in every day that we live our lives, may we see the beauty, the love that you give us every day in the ordinary days of our lives, in the ordinary things that happen in our daily life. May we see the extraordinary love that you give us through our prayer warriors, through Father Danny, through Father Joe, through Sister Marie, through Father Santos and Father Rito, all the irrigation ministries who are very important in our lives. May you bless us always. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. And the of Mama Mary, amen. Amen. Amen.
and glory be, and glory be to the Father, the to the Father, Son, and to the, Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As it was, was in the beginning, is now, now and ever, ever, and ever shall, shall be, without the world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening. Good morning. Good evening. Good evening. Good morning. 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 Good